Okay, let's do this, everybody. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can import CSV and JSON files using pandas. You will need some data to work with. For this demonstration, on my desktop, I have two files. One is a CSV file, meaning comma-separated values, and the other is a JSON file, .json. For this demonstration, you'll need some data to work with. I looked online and I did find a CSV file that contains the stats for the original 150 Pokemon. For this video series, I'll be using Pokemon because many of us have grown up with Pokemon. We can relate to it. But feel free to use any kind of data that you would like to work with. Just make sure that it's in a CSV format. So for my data, for number one, we have Bulbasaur all the way to number 150, where we have Mewtwo. But again, the data you want to use is up to you. If you would like a copy of this data, I'll post it in the comments section on YouTube. You can just copy and paste it, like so. Then to create a CSV file, wherever you would like to place this file, right click, go to new, text document, open it, paste your CSV data, save it, then be sure you save it as a CSV file. For example, data.csv. Then once you have your CSV file, for convenience, I'll move it to my Python project folder. My CSV file is right next to my main Python file. We're going to create a data frame using our CSV data. DF meaning data frame equals axis pandas as PD, call the read underscore CSV function. And then we have to pass in either a relative or absolute file path. This file is right next to my main Python file. I just need the file name, including the extension. In this case, it's data.csv. Let's take a look at our data frame. I will print my data frame. And here's what we have. I have 150 rows and seven columns. The data we're outputting, it's truncated. If you print the data frame directly, you'll be given the first five rows and the last five rows. Here I have the Pokemon from Bulbasaur to Charmeleon, numbers one through five, and the last five, Moltres to Mewtwo, numbers 146 and 150. If you need to print all the data in your data frame, to print the entire data frame, all the rows and columns, and not a truncated version, following our data frame, we will call the to string function. Be careful when working with a very large file, you'll print everything. This file isn't that big. We only have 150 rows. So now we display all the data for our Pokemon. A few of the columns include their number in the Pokedex, their name, their first type, such as grass, fire, water, their second type if they have one. Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur are also a poison type, but many of them are missing a second type, such as Charmander. Charmander doesn't have a second type, so the value here is not a number, NAN. There's a height in meters, a weight in kilograms, and a legendary status, which is either zero or one. If this Pokemon is not legendary, they have a legendary value of zero. If they are legendary, for example, Mewtwo, Mewtwo has a legendary status of one, meaning that there's only ever one Mewtwo. That's what it means by legendary. Now to read a JSON file, here's a JSON file that contains the same data. JSON means JavaScript object notation. For entry number one, we have Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, all the way till Mewtwo, which has a number of 150. For convenience, I'll place this JSON file within my project folder. And then to read a JSON file, to read a JSON file, we will call the read JSON function and then pass in the name of that file, including the extension, data.json. And here's what we have. We have our same data again, all the original 150 Pokemon. All right, that's how we can read a file using pandas. I couldn't think of any homework for you to do. So to increase engagement with this video, post the name of your favorite Pokemon down in the comments section. All right, everybody, and that is how to read both CSV and JSON files using pandas.